Okay, hello everybody and welcome to my let's play of Dragon Age 2. Okay, I'm a, I'm still a little bit sick as you can probably tell. Um, I played Awakening and Witch Hunt right before phase 2 of my flu so I was feeling pretty good and then all of a sudden phase 2 hit and now I'm recovering from that. Um, but I didn't want to wait any longer. You guys' comments to just the last couple days have been really nice and supportive. And a lot of people have been telling me that they really like what I'm doing and like and that I'm helping them out in some things and and it just makes me feel really good to know that while this is really fun and I really enjoy just chatting with you guys and playing these games with you that I can also help people out even just a little bit um, just just a little bit you know whatever helps you know it's all good so I was just really glad and I was really pumped up today to play some Dragon Age 2 finally I've uh, been wanting to play forever. I actually started this like a year ago just to check out what it looked like, like graphics wise. I was interested to see what it looked like. And then actually a couple weeks ago I got really frustrated with my setup having issues and I just recorded myself playing for like an hour but I was like out of my mind because I was like, I was like really tired and I didn't, I was like blah and I was just doing, I was being really weird and stupid so... <laughs> Um, so this is the actual gonna be playing. I have my hot milk and honey and my water here. I'll probably be drinking a lot. Um, I have seen this before, that thingy. But, um, yeah. No, I'm importing my character, by the way. Um, I, we just completed, uh, see, so yeah, so I did the other day. I was like, burp -a -dur 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 -dur. I just got really weirded out. I don't know. It was weird. It was really weird. I was re I can barely remember what I was thinking. Uh-oh. Looks like things aren't going so well on the computer. Okay, sorry about that. Uh, it wouldn't be the beginning of one of my Let's Plays if freaking something didn't go wrong with the recording at the beginning. Am I right? Um, I was trying to think if there's anything else I needed to say. Um, blah, I can't think of anything. Uh, I've played... In case you just happen to jump onto this Let's Play randomly, I played Dragon Age Origins, Awakening, Witch Hunt, but I played Inquisition first. Um, oh, as such, because I played Inquisition first, in Inquisition there are some spoilers for Dragon Age 2. Um, it's things that I think I've only got vague ideas of and that I'm hoping can be influenced by my actions because in Origins I thought you were scripted to die basically every time. I was like, there can't, it can't be, but I was thinking that was kind of going to be the way it was um, but turns out for my character I didn't have to. Uh, there's a way you don't have to die. So I was like oh great, so I'm hoping that in, in and it's not, not like that really with this one, but I'm hoping that any of some things that I have a vague idea of how things might go in the end that it'll be kind of changed by my actions we'll see um so yeah since i have played inquisition first i guess this won't be completely blind but this is my first time playing the game so it'll be blind like that um and again i only have a vague idea of how things might how one thing might turn out the rest of it i have i have absolutely no idea i know some of the names of the characters i know there's like a meryl and a bethany and a fenris i think and uh, Carver, I think, but yeah, um, oh, and Anders, Anders was an awakening, and apparently he's gonna be kind of changed in two, but for good reason, apparently, is what I, is what I've been told, so I'm also just kind of talking to see how this recording is gonna work, so everything looks okay over there, it looks all shiny, I restarted my computer, um, but I did spend a lot of time trying to decide what my character would be, it was between a warrior and a mage. Um, I have everyone, on, a lot of people have said that mage is the best one to play as for the story because you get more involved in the story. But what appealed to me, oh, and I had a hard time deciding between male and female because um, I looked up the voice acting because I know in Mass Effect, you know, I played the male shepherd first and I liked it, but playing the female shepherd. The voice acting just made it top notch, you know? And so I looked it up online, and apparently these two are pretty even on their voice acting. Um, so I was like, okay, but I just really wanted to play a female, well, because they're both very attractive, right? Like, the freaking 
one of the reasons I like to play video games is to watch an attractive male character run around on a screen. Like, that's why I have all the Assassin's Creed. <laughs> one, of the re one of the reasons I have all the Assassin's Creed. Except for the newest ones. Um, but, um... Yeah, so I was like, oh, I don't know, male or female. And in Inquisition, the default is the male mage. And I was like, oh, maybe I'll try that out. But I really want to play as the girl because she just looks like a bad A to me. You know, like, she just looks really... Like, she could kick your butt and take names. And I I don't know. I just... And plus, like, for it is for the romances, too. Like, I like to play through as a girl first, generally. I played through as a male first in Mass Effect because he was on the box art. And I was like, why would I play through as a female if the guy's on the box art, you know? But, yeah, it ended up... That, that changed around... Um, after a while, but, um, yeah, so, for the romances, I prefer to be female, um, but I would like to play through as a male hawk again sometime, um, but, and I also, I really liked the idea of being a warrior, because I know this storyline has a lot to do with Templars and mages, especially mages, and I feel like it would be a good idea to be able to look at both sides a little bit objectively. I feel like a rogue would be a little bit too distant from the scenarios, but a warrior, first, she has a, or he or she has a mage sister, so you're already involved like that. But to be a mage, I would automatic, you know, or your character probably automatically just anything that mages say is like, yes, you know, type thing. But while I feel like I'm gonna have a sympathetic warrior to the mages, especially because of the sibling, thing. Um, I also kind of just wanted my character to have enough distance from the scenarios to be able to look at both sides a little bit, at least a little bit objectively. I don't know if that quite makes sense, but I, li I actually like the idea of my character having a little bit of distance from the scenario instead of being so embroiled in it that she's like, you know, oh, like she can't see straight very well, you know, and I don't know. That's, that's maybe not how it actually plays out. It, it, from what I've heard, it is actually better to play through as a mage story-wise, but I want to see what it's like to play through as a warrior, because I just played a mage in Origins, and it was fun, and I've heard Dragon Age 2 is supposed to have fun mage stuff, and the specializations look really cool, but I'm a warrior type person. That's the, generally what I do in all role-playing scenarios, is I'm a tank person. I like to get up and whack people. So, I kind of, I think I'm going to go with the, with the female warrior. Plus, from what I've seen, <laughs> the combat's insane. Uh, let's do this. Poor Varric. Eater of astronomical amounts of money. They just do not try to be nice. Like, I have to wonder what he did to, like, promote such antagonism. Like, was he not being... And we know what that book is. Am I ra I'm pretty sure. Oh, no, no, no. Maybe not. Maybe not. Just kidding. I am Cassandra Pentecost. She... Speaker of the Chantry. Look at her hair! <laughs> and just, uh, what are you seeking? The champion. Uh, oh, good. One? Subtitles are on. You know exactly why I'm here. I don't know why. Time to start talking, dwarf. She's being they such a me witch. I think that's his book that he wrote. <laughs> what do you want to know? Everything. Start at the beginning. I, when I first saw this a couple weeks ago again, I was like, why? Is she being so mean to him? Like, I don't understand. Like, I mean, I know Cassandra's very upfront, but she doesn't need to toss books in his face and pretend to stab him. Like, that just seems very over the top to me. I don't know. It's like, really, what did he do to deserve this? And the dark spawn looks so different now. Surrender. Scouts. We will have to fight them sooner or later. Then we make our stand here. 
Prepare yourself. Prepare yourself. I'm so excited. Like, I can't even, I don't even know. I have been waiting to play this game for months. Ah! Ah! Okay. I will, okay. Press A to attack. Oh my gosh! This is like a freaking hack and slash. Oh, ah! Oh, camera angles are weird. Move so quickly too! Jeez Louise! Oh, and we have the charge uh okay, woo, okay, okay, that's a little different. Combat is so much quicker in this game. Oh my gosh. I die, 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 die. Come on, come on. Look at that, like look, it's so excessive, it's like whoa! We can't oh, keep she's this gorgeous. Um, I know. Okay, and um, BLTS D Subby was really kind enough again to give me a big, huge, um, like a, like a, like a sort of a summary of how things go in this game. And holy crap, Hawk is gorgeous. Look at those eyes. Look at that. I love the black hair and the blue eyes. She's just freaking gorgeous. But these are it's very quite different act I mean it's sort of similar but different from what I'm used to um I've heard that the middle route tends to be funnier um so I guess we will go with that first we'll we'll see we'll see how the how the funny route goes Perhaps we'll be lucky and they'll run out of darkspawn huh here they come. Uh, it's never ending. Oh, yeah. All yours, sister. I love it. Look at that. I like that. She's good. She is impressive. Experiment with my other abilities. Hi. Um, here you go. Holy crap. Oh, yes. Whirlwind. Give it to me. Yes. Oh, my gosh. I, I like, freaking chopped them in half. Holy crap. Oh my god, this is awesome! Um Whoa! Let's finish this! This is, this is so crazy! This is, I know I might have to upload part of what I did it the first time because I was like, this is insane! But it really is! Like, oh I should protect my sister. Um, um I like that. I like that a lot. Come on, okay. 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 A bolter is like a just an arrow archer person. Okay, are we done? <laughs> it's coming! <laughs> ah, you're so ugly! You are so ugly! Haha, I charged you first! Uh, oh, okay, I see. Whoa! Holy crap, this is like a hack and slash! Look at her go! Oh, oh she's. Uh. This is why I wanted to be a warrior. Look at that. There's no end to that. Well, then we better run! Um. Oh yeah! Oh my gosh! Okay, what's up with this? What's up with the? On top of dealing with the blight, we've got. A, is it? Oh, is this the arch demon, or is it a real? I couldn't remember. I don't know. I don't know. What's in Bullshit. That's oh. not what really happened. <laughs> Just kidding. Does that See? not match the story you heard, Seeker? I was Seeker? not paying attention last I'm time. I'm not enough. interested in stories. I came to hear the truth. What makes you think I know the truth? Don't lie to me. You knew her even her shirt before looks she familiar. became the champion. Even if I did, I don't know where she is now. Do you have any idea what's at stake here? I do. Let me guess. Your precious chantries fall into pieces and put the entire world on the brink of war. And you need the one person who could help you put it back together. The champion was at the heart of it when it all began. If you can't point me to her, tell me everything you know. 
You aren't worried I'll just make it up as I go. Not at all. <laughs> the voices are the same. The whole story. See, he likes telling stories. He's like, hmm, let me put my fingers up. Yeah, now I feel stupid about that dragon. I was like, oh yeah, the dragon. I remember seeing it. And now I'm like, oh yeah, that was that was the fake story. But no, I am. I'm I'm very excited to play this. I've been waiting so long. Okay, and I did the name I chose. <laughs> Um, I'm keeping the appearance the same because I freaking I love her appearance. Um, the name I chose was probably kind of silly, um, but I called her Lady, and I know that on some forums and stuff, she's called Lady Hawk because she's the female. But I like the name Lady because if you've ever seen, there's actually a movie called Lady Hawk. And uh, I really like that movie. It was one of my like favorite like weird movies that I like, like like lesser known. I don't know, B list. I don't know. It's just a movie that I liked a lot when I was younger. And I like like I like calling her like this bad A warrior. Her name is Lady because she could like you know rip you apart in like a ballroom or the field. You know, I don't know. It just seems to me it seems to work. Lady, you just call her Lady. Um. Let's see. We need. I need to import, yes. And... Come on. That is... Yes. Okay. Level 33, 250. This is the end of Witch Hunt, so I played it. I played it Origins, Awakening, and then Witch Hunt. And hopefully this is the autosave that does the decisions. I'm not sure the end... The end of Awakening and Witch Hunt didn't really seem to have these really nice auto saves I could kind of choose from. I mean, they do, but it's, it seems like it auto saved as soon as I entered the area and not at the end, you know? So, we'll try it. Okay. Apparently, it's worked. Hopefully, it actually has. Uh, portrait looks fine, appearance is fine. Um, back. It still has it, right? Yes. Okay. Um, so yeah, so I'm excited to see how this is going to change, and eventually I'm going to do a proper playthrough of Dragon Age Inquisition. Um, probably with, I'm, I'm going to do one for sure with Erica. I'm not sure if anybody would really like to see that. A couple people have shown interest, but I know it would kind of be, you know, I mean, I've already done, used Erica before, but, but she's the one that I would upload eventually to whatever Dragon Age 4 is going to be. So, um... But it would probably just be, like, really edited, you know, just, like, important things. But, oh my gosh. Uh, we'll do normal. It's my first time playing. I know I've been told that Dragon Age 2 is the weakest the of the three, but still pretty good. But very Dark different from Origins and Inquisition. Clashing against the army at the ruins of Ostagar. The battle was a disaster. King Kalen died on the field with his men. Betrayed by his most trusted general. Unopposed, the horde marched on the village of Lothering. It's so weird that this is that. This is those burned, events. And many innocents were slaughtered. Like, I passed through Lothering with Zerthara. Barely escaped in time. I didn't realize the champion's family was from Lothering. <laughs> that I could have, like, seen her while I was there, you know? But I don't think you can, but... And she's apparently supposed to be our mom, but she also apparently has the secret that doctors would kill her for, you know, for keeping her boobs up. So we've got two warriors. And her skin is so smooth. I think that's all of them. For the moment. For now, yeah. Make us save us. We've lost it all. Everything your father and I built. Um, I, I think I'm gonna do that one, because I don't want to be like a, right now doesn't seem like a good time to be a jokester. I know how much Lothering meant to you, but we have to move. Yes. But apparently You're the right. dialogue uh, choices, they kind sooner. of stack. Why did we wait so long? Why, Why are you, are you yeah. 
We've been running since Ostagar. Speaking of... Not to interrupt, but the Blight's not going to wait while we stand here pointing fingers. Please, listen to your sister. Yes, I'm the eldest. Then let's go. Lead on. I am wise. Okay, whoa. Um, okay, Ferelden, Tactic Slot, Codex. Get ready! Whoa. And they took away all my abilities, I'm so mad. I didn't realize that at the beginning they gave you like all of the abilities. Oh, is there some behind us? Whoa, camera angle, holy crap, weird, weird, weird. Why doesn't the camera move? That's, that's weird. Oh, that's not okay. Oh, uh, did I level up or what? And can we talk in the field? So much destruction. Don't worry. I'll keep an eye out. Okay. I'm gonna level up. I leveled up. Okay. Okay, this is kind of Mass effect -y looking. Um, I'm trying. I'm, I'm trying to make sure that I, that I, don't think of this as Origins or Inquisition or Mass Effect or anything, because it is quite different. And, uh, okay, to be honest, I don't really like the the menu, the HUD, the GUI, any, I don't really like any of that so far. I mean, I might get used to it, but I like that this, this kind of shows you, like, look, willpower, stamina, constitution's health, cunning, critical damage, blah, blah, all that, all that. Um, I think I'm going to, yeah two strength and one constitution. I'll probably be a two-handed warrior because I really, I like that in Inquisition, but again, I'm gonna have to not compare this to Inquisition. Um, and dexterity is usually for, I mean, dex, oh, dexterity is for critical chance. Oh, and then cunning is for critical damage. Okay. Interesting. Okay. And these are really interesting. Okay. Yeah, okay, I get it. Okay, yes. Um, diamond are active abilities. Hexagons are sustained modes. It's interesting that they don't have sustained in Inquisition anymore. They just have passive and active abilities. But this is the weapon, the weapon and shield. But I think we already have... Oh, okay, so we have the war. We have a warmonger ability, which is a confident adversary, well versed in taunting foes, cutting through them, and sending them to dirt in a bloody heap. They are also experts in controlling enemy aggression, possessing abilities that draw foes toward them, and that through stun effects cause enemies to forget who they were fighting. Okay, let's take a let's take a look. Okay, Hummel strike. I stun them, and okay, you can stagger them. Tremor. Ooh, I, that one does look really cool. I know I can't uh, get it yet. Maybe. Uh. Oh, does it? It require. Oh, level five. I see. Okay. Okay. So, so there's there's other requirements. I did like that one. That one was cool. Ta. I'm never so much wanting, but you um. Increase proportionally the number of enemies. Oh, but that's a sustain. I'm gonna have to remember that. Okay, this is gonna be a little more like Origins with the sustained modes and the passive abilities. Uh, it just doesn't seem very intuitive. This like design. I don't. I don't know. I wish I could see kind of everything almost at once. But they do have a lot of specializations. So. I mean, they've got yeah, Vanguard, Defender, Warmonger, Battlemaster. Um, oh, wait, what, is it, what does it say? When fighting solo, a Battlemaster is an efficient killing machine. When fighting alongside enemies, the warrior becomes a seasoned leader who can rally others to turn the tide of combat. Okay. Where it takes a deep breath to regain stamina. Okay, that's great. Oh, okay, that's nice. Second wind. Ooh, nice. You can instantly regenerate stamina. Rally. Uh, whoa. Okay, so this is the synergy thing. Huh. Okay. Uh, they, oh, these, these abilities all apply 
to my companions if this if this is active. Okay, that's really cool. Probably won't worry about that right now. I'll probably have to get a two-handed ability. Uh, let's check out Vanguard. What? The Vanguard believes that a good offense is a good defense. Their powerful strikes are matched with a ruthless technique. This warrior fights with discipline, not anger, making every swing count. Um, Destroyer. Uh, they suffer more pain when fighting the warrior than they would fighting anyone else. Dang. Uh, <laughs> Cleave! Haha! <laughs> okay. Massacre. Ooh, wow. That's cool. Okay. Defender, specialized in survivability, taking everything the enemy throws at them and walking away. Uh, elemental Aegis. Oh. Oh, wow. Really ups. I know Aegis, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, but I know it means shield. Wow. Wow, that's pretty awesome. Jeez. Um, turn the blade. Oh, so this is an active ability, so that's nice. You brace for impact, shrugging off damage for a brief moment, and pushing back against any foe. Physical force is two times versus the attacking enemy, and you resist 50% of the damage. That's really good. Okay, we did. We looked at those. Okay, but I will probably get a two-handed ability. Leaps into the air, crashing down on foes. That looked so cool. I know you. The upgrade is gonna. So it does some of these. Some of these require multiple points in an ability. Um. Wow. And the red. I'm just not a fan of the red. I wonder if it'll change. I know that there are three acts in this game as well. Act one, act two, and act three, and that um, each one kind of has its own little. Like how, like, how you react to things kind of shows how you'll react in the next ones. But you can kind of change it as you go. Um, but I think I will get Mighty Blow. And that looks good to me. Uh, let's just get going. We'll read the codex later. Oh, but apparently... Um, um, how do I change people? Okay. I can survive now talk later. Okay, yeah, I can talk to myself. That is so crazy to me. That is so weird. But very cool. And I want to get my cool armor. Get my cool Wait. armor. Where are we going? Away. We're going away. Away from the dark spawn. Oh, where yeah, else? hey. And then where? We can't just wander aimlessly. <laughs> Why not? So long as we wander aimlessly away from the hall. Exactly. I'm happy. Yep, yep, yep. We can go to Kirkwall. Well, that wouldn't be my first choice. Nah, There's a why lot not? of Templars oh. in Kirkwall, Mother. I know that. But we still have family there. So and she's not a mage. The husband was a mage. Uh, then we need to get to Guarin and take ship. Guarin! I know Guarin! I know of Guarin. I'll just be happy to get out of here. And here we go again. And here we go. I keep thinking I have no. my... Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, oh, hey! This woman is amazing! She looks like a Valkyrie. He looks a little bit in pain. But she... <laughs> she's like... I was like... I was like, he is obviously taken. There is no romancing that guy. Not if you want to live. They will not have you. No. Not while I breathe. I love her already. She is so cool looking. Oh, did we get... Okay, we did everything here. I don't know. She might... I don't know. It might be a little bit different once you get to know her, but... But I'll be danged, man. Like, she just punched that dark spawn to death. And he's, like, doing nothing back there. 
I just hope I'm not hitting anybody with my massive sword. Oh, pow! Stop squirming, Wesley. You'll make it worse. Apostate, keep your distance. Oh, come on. Well, the Maker has a sense of humor. Huh. Darkspawn and now a Templar. I thought they all abandoned Lothering. The spawn are clear in their intent, but a mage is always unknown. We just freaking... The order dictates. We just saved your life, Bo. Wesley. Bro. That woman is an apostate. The order dictates. Oh, you might have to go through me, Dear, Bucko. They saved us. The Maker understands. Of course. I am Aveline Valen. This is my husband, Sir Wesley. We can hate each other when we're safe from the Horde. <laughs> a strange time to be hunting apostates. His fellows left with the Chantry priests. I was traveling to Denerim on business for the Order, but I had to turn south when I heard of Ostagar. Bad luck and judgment <laughs> brought us together here before the attack. The nice Templar has been convinced to postpone his hunt for illegal mages. So let's not dwell upon it, shall we? Why do you wear nice that? Girl. Uh For a while it looked like we were the only ones to escape. Why the did it take us so long to leave? We aren't free of them yet. Just like at Ostigar. This is oh, just the start. He was there. You were there. Yes, I see it now. Third company, under Captain. Were Bauer. you there too? Then you saw how the whole of the army was defeated. We fell to betrayal, not the Darkspawn. This arm of the Horde will not have the same advantage. So she sees... She sees it as Loghain betraying... You're quick to offer your allegiance. Another blade between us and the Darkspawn? Yes, please. So long as the Horde is their first concern... Heck yeah, no, nobody's touching my, my sister. My duty is clear, but that is for another day. If we are granted that Your duty is only clear because we you're blind. Be we all will. <laughs> Keep him away from my sister. Yeah, basically. The wrath of the Templars is terrible indeed. More so their wives. Aha! As long as there is a greater <laughs> danger, you and I have an accord. Thank you, Wesley. For now, we move with you. North is cut off. We barely escaped the main body of the Horde. He's like, he's like, he's like got a huge slice south. of his That's back, no doesn't he? Out. We if can go to the wilds. South or die. Yeah. I'll take my chances with south. Are we gonna go north to Kirkwall though? Isn't Kirk Kirkwall's north in the Free Marches, which is north, right? Yeah. Friendship, rivalry. Oh yeah, and this is like a friendship and rivalry system, which is different. It doesn't, I, I know that, I was told that rivalry doesn't necessarily mean disapproval. It, like, you can romance a character that you're a rival with. But I think if you go too far, and certain characters respond better to being a rival or a friend. So, I get, it just kind of depends. Um. Ooh, should we, I think willpower will be a little more important in this one. I like to get constitution up as quick as I can. So maybe we'll just we'll put two into magic and one into constitution and then we'll look at willpower too. Okay. And oh boy, oh boy, I don't oh god, okay. Um uh, she's an elemental or a spirit that shakes foes to the core by passing resistances and effectively countering enemy mages. Arcane, magic taps into the deepest wells of the Fae, protecting the caster and crushing the Arcanist's foes. Entropy, delves into the chaotic nature of the Fae, twisting the fabric of probability and ensnaring foes with horrifying visions. Creation, they are invaluable allies who can heal wounds, strengthen party members, and ward against oncoming foes. I'm assuming that Anders is going to be in my party and he's still going to be a spirit healer. Um, so for now, I'm not going to worry too much about the spirit stuff. She seems to already have a little bit of stuff in Elemental. We could do Winter's Grasp. So this is, I mean, it's basically just Fire and Ice. Um, oh, Cone of Deadly Ice. Um, it doesn't look like there's friendly damage. Okay. 
Ooh. Wow. Pyromancer. Oh. So if you have a fire staff. Oh, no. Okay, I see. Why doesn't it have it for ice, too? It's just, like, just for fire. Haha. -ha. Um, spirit. Is that... Okay, that's just a bolt of energy. Okay. Bolt can be... Okay, walking bomb. I kind of... Yeah, I know what that is. Ooh. Ooh, that one was really good. I just recently found that one in Origins, and it was really good. It doesn't look like there's a, um, shield... Like a, like a barrier? Whoa. Oh, that's cool. Or mine, but we might have to get that one. Because I don't want her... Oh, Arcane Shield. Only for herself, though? Yeah, okay, okay, I see, alright, okay. Um, let's get Mind Blast for her. And for you, you're a warrior, so we'll chuck some into strength. We'll give you some dexterity. Jeez, man, you don't have any. Okay. Um, he is also two-handed, but I should probably give him... Oh, he's like the same as me. Um... Oh, so he can't be a sword and shield, it looks like. Okay. Well, can you not have... Oh, okay, those require level three... You could be a defender, though. Okay, we'll give you that. Oh, and we're... Okay, I, I see the bar now, I remember. Um, so he, we're rivals. Um, but I think I'm friendly with Bethany. Or, um, Bethany is my sister and Aveline... Okay, I'm getting them mixed up. Erlock. Money. Um, Mom. Bethany, can we keep going? I don't want to be a standing target. Take point. I'll be rear guard. If you need to stop, you all right there? Such destruction. I mean, real. When you look at it, this is insane. Like I did not even realize that this the this amount of destruction of what was going on because I was usually ahead of the war or directly interacting with it. I did not know that this was what was going on. I mean, I knew that they said the ground was blighted and everything and blah, blah, blah. But... But this is something else entirely to see it. Oh, shoot, I forgot. Come on. Okay. Just shut up, man. More coming, yes indeed. I love that. Holy crap, I love our fireballs. We're just like going to town on this guy. She's got a sword and shield though. Just in front of us? Okay. Hey, I don't like you. Archers! Get the archers! Do I have to control their tactics like I do in uh, Origins? I know in Inquisition you don't have to worry about it so much. It's actually much more difficult to tell when I'm taking damage now. Oh, shoot. Oh, and we still can't ju I hate that. Can't jump off of things. Sorry, sister. You've done well, though. Health potion. Anything else? Oh, and we regenerate health. Oh, dead refugee. Health potion. Okay. Yeah, I'm not so. I'm not so much. I mean, maybe I'll get used to it, but I'm not liking the the gooey and stuff so far. The HUD or whatever. Ooh, we do have stamina drops though. What a surprise! Run why Oh no, not you bad. You bad. You bad. Okay. Stun you. Oh my gosh. I am taking a lot of damage. Okay, um... Is that a... Yeah. Okay. Creepy sounds for taking a health focus. Or health potion, I guess, now. So many enemies! Oh my gosh. Where's... I need charging... I didn't see charging bull. 
Just die. Oh, this is where we were before. We're like making a big circle. Eh, um, on. Oh, hey. I start for my abilities to come back, too. Mm. I may have to change some of the, uh, Quickly, what pops before up. They regroup. We must press towards the wild. I don't know if I like their... What they're doing to pop to up. Is any of you a rogue? You are not rogues. Oh, okay. 10, 20, and 30 points of cunning. Jeez. 10, 30, 40. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. Oh, map. Uh, yes, I don't want the map. I want to level up. Okay. Um, I will give myself some dexterity. Um... Yeah, I'm not really good at stat building, to be honest, you guys. I mean, I'm sure those of you who started out with me in Origins know that. Um, I had to have a lot of help. But it seems like just... I mean, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a soldier. I'm, I'm a warrior. So strength and constitution is what I would focus on. But should I focus on willpower and dexterity a little more? Like, I'm not sure. But... Oh, wait. Actually, that's... Let's put one into constitution because I was losing health there. I will give myself at least some chance of a critical hit because, geez. Um, oh, and I get another ability. Okay, where's... I want charging bull. Give it that one. What, do, what does it require? Level five. Uh, that requires level six. And it requires two points and two-handed. And I want whirlwind. Oh my gosh. Um, requires Giant's Reach. Okay. Wow. Woo, cool. That's cool. Wow. Yeah, give me that. Okay, and you... Strength and Dexterity, too? You already have a pretty good constitution. So many warriors in the group. Okay... And what else do you have? You have Taunt, I saw. Vanguard, Defender, Taunt, Bravery. She seems like a person who would have Bravery, you know? Uh, Guardian. Oh, she has like a specialization? Aveline has outlived too many of those she's loved. Years of hard training and loss have shaped her into an immovable force and an invaluable ally. Oh, oh, okay. These require... Oh, this re oh requires friendship and rivalry. Okay, <gasps> that's freaking guard, and that's the that's the sign for um, like the stoic or uh, uh like the stoic response in Inquisition. That that's the symbol for it. Um. Hmm. Okay, so these require higher levels too. Okay. Um, should I give her another ability? I feel like I should maybe give her another ability. Yeah. Let's give her that. Um, well, I think I'm gonna call this one here, uh, because I don't want the recording to go on for too terribly long, but, um, this is really cool. I'll probably upload the second part with it, hopefully, is the, is the idea, generally. But, um, I hope you guys are okay with me sounding a little bit stuffed up. <laughs> I know it's the first series and I should probably sound a little more top-notch, but, um, I just couldn't wait anymore. I've been, I, I had, I, the last three days I'd been really sick and couldn't play, but I'd finished Awakening right before I got really sick. i finished Witch Hunt and Awakening and everything, and I was like, I just need to get play, and I'm really looking forward to it. So, thank you guys for all your support. And I hope you enjoy this series as well. And I will hopefully see you in the next one. Thanks.